Next question is from Daniel James. For beginning lifters, how do we figure out how much weight to start on main lifts? I did a, vi I did a video on this. Yeah, you mm -hmm. did, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's not the best video quality. It was a while back when we did this, but um, I don't know. It's it's the best way I've ever been able to explain it to somebody because it's 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 not it's not like a straightforward formula. Like, oh, if you're a new lifter, plug in. 10 times your, you know, this minus your body weight. It's like, there's not you like can't. this yeah. perfect formula. You got to kind of figure it out. Your way through it, yeah. And I think the, the biggest mistake made is people grabbing a weight they can quote unquote do, but they don't do with like perfect form. Yep, I agree. And so, you know, I, I'm always telling a client like, yeah, we want to do the most weight we can and be able to maintain perfect form through whatever the desired reps Which are. Is so usually pretty light for a beginner. Right. So if it's, 10 reps, I want to be able to perform, barely be able to perform mm -hmm. 10, 10 reps, not barely be able to perform 10 reps at all. I mean, with perfect form. So that means I probably could do 12 to 15 reps, no problem, but I'd have to rock. I mean, if we're talking about bicep curls, right? Rock my shoulders or my elbows or arch my back to get up those last three. Like yep. if you have to break form at all and you, before you get to the rep range, it's too heavy. You yeah. back off. Yep. If you can do all 10 reps with perfect form and it's not hard at all, then you need to go a little bit heavier. And so that's what you're looking for. This is something I've been working through with the high school kids uh, because it's it's really testing me in terms of like, um, you know, answering a lot of their questions because they, they're they just not familiar with weight training like they should be. Uh, and so to pick weights, it's like trying to describe like you want to have each rep needs to be quality reps. So each one has to, you have to be able to do like maintain composure, maintain control of your body and work through each one of those without, you know, wavering at all. Uh, and if you can't, you got to go replace those weights and, and go down a bit. And so they're just like looking at me like dumbfounded. Like it's, it's about like always lifting more. Yeah. As, as a beginner, especially you're better off erring on the side of lighter always. So if, right. Cause you can always, yeah. you always progress later. and you're a beginner anyway. I'm going to tell you something right now. You if have something you, to build on. Yeah. And if you're, de if you're deconditioned, you don't work out and you go to the gym and you're like, I'm going to try doing squats. You do body weight squats, Ooh, which is sore. more than you do every day. <laughs> yeah. You've actually sent a muscle building signal. That's and you right. might actually even get sore from doing just body weight squats. I remember back in the day as an early trainer not realizing that. I'd take a beginner and I'd push him through a crazy workout. And then, of course, I'd get the phone call. Uh, I couldn't walk for you know five days or whatever. But it, that was way overdoing it. And I only slowed their progress. Air on the, Especially when you're a beginner. Perfect form is more important than intensity. Air on the side of lighter, you'll still improve. You'll still get stronger. If you do the opposite, air on the side of heavier and sacrifice form, you'll actually slow your progress down. Well, and listen, anytime that we talk about things like this where there's a video that we've already created that's specific to this, all you have to do is check show notes. So I know we get a lot of these questions and then people are, oh, I can't find it. It's like, check the show notes. It's mindpumppodcast.com where you can find the show notes. Yeah, yes. or it's down in the description of the link right if you're watching this on YouTube. Exactly. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.